Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video has been requested a couple of times and that is the review and a wear test of the K-Beauty Hydrating Foundation. Now also it is quite early in the morning so the light is quite bright but throughout the day it will come back to its normal self so please bear with me. Now the foundation shade that I have picked out is 145N Medium. For other foundation shade reference I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline I'm 310 Sun Beige. So, if you have not already, then do not forget the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever I upload. And now, let's jump right into the video. let's quickly go over with the features and the benefit of this foundation now it says that it is a natural hydrated dewy finish lightweight and second skin feel ultra creamy luxurious texture locks in moisture all day comfortable wear natural to high buildable coverage blurs imperfections and it is perfect for all skin type now it also has avocado butter mango butter and hyaluronic acid now this is priced at 1200 rupees for 30 ml of product and they offer a total of 20 shades so this is how the packaging looks like which comes in a nice glass bottle with a white cap at the bottom you have is a shade name and number with the other details and this foundation comes with a pump and now let's move on to the application. So I have super zoomed you guys in and I'm going to quickly take my blotting sheet and remove the excess oil because it has been a while since I have been sitting. Uh, also just a quick FYI as per my usual foundation review I am not going to use any primer or a setting spray because I want to see how this foundation works on its own without any help. Oh, and also I have this foundation for a while now and I completely forgot about it. I have never used it and I kind of hope that the shade matches properly. So, yeah. This is the amount of oil that came out already, which is not that bad actually. And for the application, this side I'm going to go with a damp sponge and on this side with a foundation brush. So my eyebrows and eye makeup is done and uh, let's... Why is the pump not pumping? Oh my god, my fingers are paining. Oh, finally. So, yeah, it's quite a bit of product, but it is fine. I think this will match. It's a very thin formula. So this is like one layer. I can still see my blemishes. Uh, it has evened out my skin, but it has not covered my blemishes, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm just taking one more pump and uh, just on the places that needs coverage. So yeah, for now I'll just stop with this and uh, this is how it looks like compared to no foundation with two layers of foundation. Using a brush, it has given a bit more coverage, but I'm still going to add just one more layer. So first off, the time is 9.44 a.m. and this is how the foundation looks like on both the sides with the sponge and with the brush. Now, first impression wise, this is a very sheer coverage sort of a foundation. Like one layer will kind of even out your skin tone but will not cover your blemishes. And if you want that, then you'll have to go with a second layer. At the same time, it is super buildable. It doesn't feel heavy or anything of that sort, even though I added like two layers of foundation but it still looks very nice. Another thing is that it is glowy. 
which is great but with my oily skin i'm kind of skeptical already so let's see throughout the day how it wears so i'm going to quickly finish the rest of my makeup and i will be right back so the time right now is 10 a.m and this is how my makeup looks like right now which is completed i have used very minimal products just like a matte blush uh, my usual loose powder and I did only a nose contour, no cheek contour or anything of that sort. So yeah, everything looks super matte and I like it so far. Uh, I do have to film another video so I will see you guys for the first check-in and also I will add a video of how it looks on my phone camera as well. Hey guys, I'm back and uh, this is the first and the final check-in because my face is super oily right now. So the time is about 2.57 p.m. and it is close to like 5 hours since I last applied the foundation. A little over 5 hours and this is how my skin looks like. So let me quickly zoom you guys in and show you everything. So as you guys can see my skin is super oily through and through right now except for my under eyes my skin is super oily everywhere else so I'm just gonna quickly blot my face that's a lot of oil <laughs> So two full blotting sheets later, this is how my makeup looks like, which is actually not that bad at all. It still looks very flawless and nice and fresh, like how I initially applied it. You can still see the blush and everything. Just the oils have been blotted away. All right, so let's go over with the formula, the pros and the cons. So the first point is that this foundation is like a medium consistency wise. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, but it's right in between. So I would say like a medium consistency. And it also gives a very sheer coverage, which can be built up to a medium coverage. I would not call this like a full on full coverage foundation. It can be built up to almost a full coverage foundation if that makes sense for application i would personally prefer using a brush because it will give a bit more coverage than a damp sponge because it will shear out the foundation even more now as you guys saw during the application i used like two layers to get the right coverage of my personal preference and even after that it was not heavy or cakey or anything of that sort it was pretty comfortable on my skin at the same time it gave a lovely dewy finish like I really really like the finish it gave that nice glow from within sort of a look which I really did like and it also evened out my skin so yeah also I love that this foundation comes with a pump in a glass bottle so it does feel pretty heavy and nice and I also like the cap because it is a bit tight to open and close so yeah that's good lastly i do love the shade range because 20 shades is pretty good for the first foundation that they have launched so yeah and now for the fii there are two points the first point is that there is no fragrance added to this foundation which is great it does have a smell but it smells like a foundation so yeah that's the first point the second point is that it does oxidize very little like it does but it's extremely minute i will insert a video of what exactly i'm talking about right next to my finger is the foundation swatched at 10 a.m and right next to it is a freshly applied foundation swatch so as you guys can see there's a very minute difference so it does oxidize but very little and lastly for the cons there are two points the first point is to do with the longevity of this foundation now on my oily greasy ass skin this foundation lasted like for about three hours so in about two and a half hours it started becoming super oily on my nose and my forehead and then at around three three and a half hours my full face was completely oily so the time frame is pretty short for this foundation on oily skin so yeah that's the first con for me and lastly, the second con is to do with the pricing of 1200 rupees because personally, I wish this foundation was like around 700 to 800 rupees. It would have been perfect. But 1200 seems a little bit high. So yeah. 
So overall, in my personal opinion, if you have dry skin or normal skin, you will love this foundation because how flawless the finish is, it's comfortable and hydrating at the same time. Like I can see that it could be like a holy grail foundation if you have dry skin. However, if you have like combination skin, I would highly recommend using a good mattifying primer or a setting spray which will help the longevity of this foundation. And if you have oily skin, I would personally recommend skipping on this foundation but then even if you want to buy it, then make sure that you do prep your skin well. Use a very good mattifying primer and a good setting spray as well. And lastly, irrespective of your skin type, if you are planning to buy it, I will highly, highly recommend waiting for a sale and then buy it because 1200 rupees is a bit high. So wait for a sale when the price is lower and then pick it up. So yeah, these were my thoughts on the K-Beauty Hydrating Foundation and this finally wraps today's video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, do not forget to subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it sort of it whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below. If you have any questions or requests, I will try my best for you as well as follow me on my socials with Shanayar on Instagram and Shanayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye.